The Aggie women compiled a 26-8 overall record in 2009-2010, the program's fifth straight 20-win season under coach Gary Blair. The team won the Phillips 66 Big 12 Women's Basketball Championship in Kansas City and welcomed back Danielle Adams, the Big 12 Newcomer of the Year for the 2009-2010 season, along with three other starters. Blair says the team's disappointing loss in the second round of the NCAA tournament last year means the team is focused even more on developing itself for the full length of the season. What we try to do each year, particularly this past year in the Big 12, there was a lot of great seniors that graduated. And each school lost a lot of them, but we will always want our program to be, when we lose the great seniors, the Tanisha Smiths or the Demetri Buchanan's two starters, we want replacements already there, already training behind them. Blend that in with a good recruiting class, and you're going to be in good shape. And I think that's what we've done at A&M. We've had some kids sitting behind some very good players, and their time is now and it's time for them to produce. And I think you'll see the Miriam Bakers or the Kelsey Assyrians or the Sierra Wyndhams move more up to more of a prominent role in our program. We're not satisfied with where we've been. Um, last year, we, we did win a Big 12 championship in the tournament, you know, but we'd like to rent, win a regular season um, Big 12 championship. And uh, we definitely want to make it further in the NCAA tournament. I think that we've um, not lived up to what we should have done for the past two years. Junior guard Sidney Carter ranks among the league leaders in assists so far this year, and meanwhile is averaging about nine points per game. She says the team's depth creates some good problems to have. That's what makes this team so great this year because our depth is even better than it has been in the last couple of years. So it definitely makes the coaches' jobs harder, and it definitely motivates the people that have been um, starting and, and the returners definitely to kind of step their games up and, and work a little harder. Coach Blair says Carter's team-first attitude brings plenty of intangibles. I can't afford for her to be off the court very long because she's always going to guard the other team's best perimeter player. She's going to take more charges than anybody on the court. She's going to be instant offense, whether she's creating for others or nailing that three or making a drive and layup herself. So I've got to have her on the court. But then she's so good when she's off the courts, encouraging her teammates and trying to get the people on the bench excited and jumping up and down and all that stuff. The Aggies' only loss this year came to fifth-ranked Duke at Cameron Indoor by just three points, but remain ranked in the top ten nationally thanks to wins over Michigan, Arizona, Cal, and TCU. Senior forward Danielle Adams leads the team in scoring, averaging almost 22 points and eight rebounds per game, and already has four double-doubles. The Aggies open Big 12 play at home against Colorado on January 8th. For Big12Sports.com, I'm Brian Mortensen.